appear be as dishonoured me to show that talk of all things past, present, and potential future for Disneyland Paris. It's a big show. The whole team has said, Most Because today, we of course had that big, big, big press conference in Studio Theatre to get some updates on various projects coming in the next couple of years for Paris. <laughs> um, and of course, we're going to do a look around a little bit. So this is what we wanted to do for D23 two years ago, but couldn't because we didn't get, get much from D23. And we might not get that much this year. Oh, no, 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 no. This year, no excuses. We need a lot of answers at this year's D23. Yeah, Star Wars, Frozen, any of the rumours we got that are still lingering from D23? Yeah. Yeah, so there's no, so there's no excuses. We need a decent comp panel at D23 this year because you can't keep just dragging out all the speculation. Yeah. This whole, oh, you'll, you'll find out when we, we're ready for you to find out. No, we need to move away from that. I mean, for the 32 years. Yeah, but it's not anymore because 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 obviously times have changed because of the era of the social media with rumours and spoilers left and centre. You need to be able to tell the public what is and what is not right. Exactly. Misinformation is a serious thing to people. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so we're going to go through it all. It took place today. Before we start, what are you feeling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are we bothering when the, when it's D23 around the corner? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we kind of felt like the time, the time where, yeah, um, all of this could easily be done at, at D23. Um, yeah, but I imagine there's some bits that were probably left out from today. That it might stay for D23. Yeah. But it was just, um, yeah. Right. I, I, I think if this was not a D23 year, we might be a bit more enthusiastic for it because you know there's not any other upcoming panels where old stuff could get revealed. Yeah. Yeah. I think if it was in a non D23 year, fine, you can have it. But, yeah. Well, we've been saying that the park should do like their own D23. So each and then if you've got any news you can share it or just say or if you're not you can just reminisce on last, on last year in the park yeah that'd be a good way to report yeah but, but we're ready okay so not so we're not explaining too much but let's do a cover it okay so yeah so i'm going to talk through it bit by bit by bit and we'll get our instant reaction to it all right okay yeah ready let's begin so uh, we kick off with the first look at the ride vehicles for the upcoming Tangled theme attraction at the park. Now, I'm calling it at the park because our wish has come true! <gasps> Name change! Name change! <gasps> our wish has come true! It wasn't an April Fool's joke! It's come true! So I'm going to save that for later on. So for now, I'll, I'll just refer to studios as the park. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do it as that. Yeah. Because there's only one piece of main park news to give you. So for now, I'll just refer to as the park. So, oh, which has come true. I can tell you what the rumoured one was. Because I kept that hidden when we did this video last week. Yeah. Because I didn't want to be Lee here in case it was true or not. So yeah. Um, We'll get to later on. So yeah. So we now have confirmation that there is going to be a Tangled Ride in the second park. Should I just do the second park for now? Yeah, prefer as that. Um, now, this of course is one of the many rumours we had in the build-up to the last D23 that we thought might get converted at that D23, but did not. Yeah. So what's the idea for this Tangled Ride? Is it supposed to be a flat ride? or? I think the idea is it's going to be another teacups ride. You're joking! What another one? <laughs> All right, calm down, Freddy from Bristol. <laughs> so, but feed us what? Boats? Yeah. It'd be either. I think it's boats. Will lanterns work better though for a teacup ride vehicle? Like how the cars work well for Captain Ruth Relief. Would it be better if it was like a lantern? I don't know. I think it. But I think it's supposed to be boats. And the idea is you probably would, would be around the lanterns. But I, I know it's very scarce the details. I, I thought I know. I thought I remember, remember from the time. But yeah, so yeah, have a, so yeah, so have a look. Ooh, so. Yeah. 
So it's not much, but yeah. Uh, there's going to be a lot of us looking at concept images, so you hear a lot of oohs, ahs. That's what it is. Oh, you start to go fish. I walked myself into that trap, didn't I? You did. I know. I know. I know. I walked myself into it. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Um, well, I think I'm happy we've now got the, we can now put that river to bed. Do we need this? No. Where's it going to go? We need a lake. Seriously? Yeah. How big is this lake here it's supposed to be? Well, clearly big enough for a tangled ride and a, re and a restaurant. No, no, the restaurant we already need for Deathlet. But this we didn't know for Deathlet until now. So where's that going to go? Somewhere near the lake? Somewhere near the lake. So we'd have the lake, tangled ride and a restaurant. Probably it. Alright, so this is going to be called Rapunzel's Tangled Spin. Try to fight that into French. <laughs> no, ooh, we've got a we've got a spinning teacup ride. It's going to be feed on tangled. What should we call it? Rapunzel's Tangled Spin. Not very imaginative, is it? At least with your cat and Ruins my lead, he actually has a DC cup with something creative. Even though it was basically the studio's version of a teacup ride. But now it's going to have two. <laughs> but that's just so... Surely they imagine this because sort of was more creative than that. Surely. Rapunzel's Tangled Spin. Bullshit. <laughs> You're trying to think that's the best they could come up with for a name. That's ridiculous. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so... Is that right then? Uh, yeah, I just think, really, just, yeah. Right, so the next bit, of course, is the first look at the creation of new sets for the Studio One remodel. So, let's go have a look at them. Oh, no, it's a lovely! It won't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! I didn't even show them it yet! Right, there you go, it's a better closer look. <laughs> Three sorts! Well, you know for a while it's not going to look like that. That looks very pretty, but it ain't going to look like that. This is going to be coming next year. It's going to look, yeah, it's not going to look pretty. That, I'm sorry, those look pretty. That looks really pretty. I admit that. That's pretty. Can we see the other one? Yes, there's two to show you. That's the first one. Can we see the other one? Okay, that looks pretty, but it isn't going to look anything like that. Yeah, this is why I don't like looking at concept art, because whenever I see a concept art for any sort of project, I think that looks really, really great, it's enticing, but the actual finished project then looks nothing like that. Yeah. It's like, it's like when the first concept images came out for WGST was announced in 2018, and we all thought, this does not look realistic. There's too much green in those original cosmos. Oh, yeah. I remember thinking, so how many new trees are we going to plant? Yeah, there's a lot of green. I mean, the Avengers campus has been open for two years now. It's, it's no, no, and it still feels like a diff, it's just another land. Yeah, there's nothing, no greenery to it. No. No, it's just, yeah. No, that looks lovely, and I'm sure it's going to look lovely when it's finished, but it's not going to be as dazzling as you see here. Um, yeah. Well, speaking of something that looks lovely, next up it has the cons urges. We've got the frozen themed land. This is what it's going to look like by, uh, by night. Ooh! Now, I'm like, I'm like with Cerisa, it looks lovely, but how much do you want to bet it won't look like that as a finished product? Because yeah. that is lovely, that is gorgeous. I think you should take a, take a good look at that, George, because we're hardly in the studio park at night. 
Yeah, because most of, yeah, because most of the things that we do in the studios part were done by by the by mid afternoon, and then we're straight over to the studios. Sorry, then we're straight over to the main park. I'm hoping to resort in my 19 years of on office in your resort. Have I ever? Because you've done the most tricks, tricks compared to Mickey. Yeah, because I was because I've only been been in the fold since 2011, whereas he's been for the very beginning. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, have I ever been in the studio's park in, at night? Um, you might need to come back to me on that one. I'm not sure if you have. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it counts. Because you're right. Most of the stuff we do in the studio's park, we're all we're, we are done by mid afternoon, and then we're ready to go head over to the main park for either the parade, start the parade or or um something else. Yeah, because last year we didn't do parades. We just went where we, because by the time we finished the studio's park last year, it, we we were, we just had enough time to get to the last show room of the prize line. Ah, so we brought let's go into that. Yeah, yeah, because last year's trip was we were very much like priorities. So if there's anything you want to get definitely definitely done, go and do that. And the prize was the priority in the main part because we didn't because obviously obviously last year the only parade was Dad's and Christmas. We were I wasn't asked about whether or not seeing that properly or not. We did see it, but not just not uh, a couple, a few times from various different angles, but not, yeah. But was it? Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's something to bear in mind when you next do your trip. If when you go into the studio park to move from the section of the studio park to the main park, you might go and be straight to the front, not the parade area. Right. Okay. I've got that in mind. I think I probably will, would do the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Black looks does look gorgeous. I mean, just see that one. The ice pie is there. It's right there but it's probably not going to look like that yeah this is the proper series content I did I thought I wanted it to look like that but it's probably not going to look like that and it just makes it really sad yeah. because you're drawing the guests in but in reality yeah in reality so more sneak peeks at cons construction this is going at a real snail's pace Yep. Considering this was supposed to have been last year when this opened, this is going at a real, real snail's pace. So, the, so the, yeah. what are you supposed to do? No, no clue. I mean, I am the frozen expert, but. So, no. hmm. Anything? I've been trying to actually create the village of, 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 in Arendelle, but it's not really convincing. Well, because you don't, because in front, because in even Frozen Four, you don't have that many scenes when they're in the streets, so it's hard to work out what a street in Arendelle looks like because we don't spend much time in them. Uh, right. On to the next thing we're going to cover and look at. We need to go up a little bit. Right. Okay. So. We didn't just get news regarding the second park. We also got some Disney Village hotels and main park news. So, news. so the next. So we're going to move to the hotels. So the next Disneyland Prize Hotel to be refurbished will be Disney Davy Crockett Ranch. Oh! Not the Sakaya! Was the coin supposed to be the basis? I, I think I heard somewhere last year before, that Sequoia was going to be the next one after Disneyland Hotel. <gasps> I think I saw that too. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw that too. That's why I've been, I've been busy on you trying to try to watch videos of Inside Hotel New York. Why? Because I think if, if ever we can't go to Sequoia, I think we should then stay in Hotel New York because that's the next close. Because that's the other closest one to the park. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, because obviously it's Hotel New York, Sequoia, and then the rest are kind of 20. Because I mean, Hotel New York takes 10 minutes to get to the park, and Electra 5 on the Sequoia, and then after that, the rest are all like 20, 25. So, yeah, so yeah, so really, if guests are ever going to stay on site, 
you should probably either say Sequoia or Hotel New York because they because they will get you to the quickest and to the park. Yeah, yeah. So I so I kind of was like, if ever we can't go to, go to Sequoia, I think we should then stay in Hotel New York because then that's close because then that way we're, we're still in one of the closest ones to the park. So I've been so I've been busy since our last trip. I've been busy looking up, up videos on YouTube what it's like in Hotel New York to get kind of feel the vibe. Yeah. So yeah. So I yeah I did actually see that story for you thought but I thought is this come true or not? Um, clearly it might might still be true, but right now it's yeah now because yeah I did see the one where you said oh it's after the time it might Sequoia, but clearly it's not. So next one's gonna be Davy Crockett Ranch. Ranch. That's the furthest one. Yes, it is. That's the fur. That is the furthest of them all. I don't know how long it takes to get to the, into the main into the park from there. Like a little. What? We could do a video on this another, another time. Yeah, we'll do it another time. Okay. So yeah, that I think is the furthest. That's the furthest one. Yeah. So that's the next one's going to be refurbished. So the bungalows will be replaced starting this year and will feature a new theme centered around junior woodchuck characters. And I've got no clue what that is. Yeah, because you don't like birds. <laughs> yes, thank you! <laughs> Your point? Well you, well, you just don't like birds. So, of course, you're not going on that earth. I think it's going to be more like, more like a woodland theme. Have a look there. Oh, no. No, I would not want to stay in that. That would, yeah. No, no. Oh. Oh. Well, for you naturists. I've said that right, haven't I? Yes. Yeah. Yes, for you naturists. I need to just Google that just to be certain. Because I always get naturists and naturalists confused. Yep, you do. Everyone does. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's not you, Naturist. Ah, no! Sorry, Naturalists. Oh, I can't believe it. No, but I thought I got it right. You two did correct. We thought you got it right, too. Sorry, no, for you naturalists! There we go. Oh my god. For you naturalists, you'll love it. And probably naturists too. I don't know. I don't want, 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 I Right, on to Disney Village, which we know is supposed to be getting a refurb, in, including a second McDonald's by the time I'm 30. I'm loving it! I'm surprised you didn't actually talk about that today, because we still don't know. Is it going to be a second one to the company that was already there, or is it... We close the, the, the original one down and we build a brand new one that's better. No clue. What's wrong with hiring two McDonald's? Nothing wrong with it. I, well, as a McDonald's alone myself, I said, there's nothing wrong with hiring two McDonald's, but literally right slap bang next to each other? Doesn't really make sense. Doesn't really make sense. But there again, what does make sense in your resort? Touche. Two, thank you. What does make sense? I was expecting to get some, heck, some heckling and abuse there, but woo! Wow, okay. Um, if this was, if this was 10 years ago, you would have been abused from us there. <laughs> Fair to, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, WS2 is made for you to sort of sour. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah, surprised they didn't bring up the McDonald's. They brought other stuff, they didn't bring up the McDonald's. That's gonna be confusing. Um, yeah, but we've got some Neil for Disney Bay, so they a concept art of what for Ross Lee and our surrounding areas from the le from the le from Lake Disney. Did anybody actually go into Ross Lee? I don't know. 
So obviously when we were there last year, the construction was still going on. You can and you can hear as you walk into the building, you can hear that. <laughs> yes, there was a lot of drilling. Don't, don't, not in that sense. Dirty animals, not in that, not in that sense. It's my fault. I brought up naturists. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. As soon as you walk into the building, you can hear the drilling. They were hard, hard at work on that. Don't. They were hard at work at it. <clears throat> But yeah, um, but yeah, and here's a new nighttime concert art for Disney Beers remodel. Um, it shows Disney Wonders signage for a, a location that appears to be replaced in the Disney store. Oh no! Oh no! I love that one. The big, yeah, the big. Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna miss that one. Of all the shops in Disneyland Paris, the Disney Store and Disney Beers is the one that I definitely have to go into because it's, because it's so massive. Yeah, it's the best one. It's it's so massive and there's so much choice. So you could just spend ages in there. So you know, after you've had a lot, had a, had a day, massive day in the park, you were what? You felt, oh, I didn't get a chance to go get some souvenirs. Well, just go straight to Disney Beers, get to Disney Store, and you'd probably sort it. Yeah. 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 It was, only, it, was only, it was only a place where you bought stuff last year, if I remember rightly. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to miss that shop. Um, so we're a new look at the former Disney Junior... Disney Fashion Junior... Sorry, Disney Fashion Junior shop signage. Featuring the Perlin designs to be installed. Look. Uh, the former Disney Fashion Junior store will become a Disney homeware shop. Okay. What would be an IKEA? The Disney Village. <laughs> what does Mars and Petra think about that? <laughs> what? So like. Mugs, cutlery, furniture. Work your, work your, work your, work your, work your local. That's fine because you can just put it in your car. But, 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 but guests who fly out. Yeah. It's like why was there a gallery shop? Because again, if you live in France, great, you can just put it in your car. But if you are from overseas, how are you supposed to put that in your, in your carry on? You don't. You don't. Your best bet is just doing a quick snatch up on your smartphone and pretending you bought, pretending that you bought it. <laughs> um, but that can be good for me. I, me, I'm always looking for mugs. Oh no, you're gonna attack! Oh no, you're gonna attack one of those mug people. <laughs> oh, you know what I did say DLP, where, where the presenters are always told that they're told they're not allowed to buy mugs because they just go mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I always do feel like I, like I never have enough mugs because um, I use one and then, oh, it hasn't been, wa been washed the next day, so I then get another one and then, and then that hasn't been washed. So it's like, so I kind of feel like I need, I'm not bad at mugs right now. No, no, you I, no, you have got a fair, no, you have got right now a reasonable collection of mugs, but. You are the sort of person who now is like, well, if I see a nice new mug, I'm gonna buy it because I always feel like I need new mugs. But I can see your point, yeah, because if, if some mugs haven't been washed, then obviously, yeah, you're probably oh, they've not got many left yet. And then it takes effort to have to make sure I've washed it out completely. It's always messy with cocoa, and then um, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Um. So watch out for that homeware store, because George might be in trying to buy some new mugs! <laughs> I probably wouldn't, no, I wouldn't dare. Because it would just easily get smashed on the plane. Bet you, it would. I bet, I bet you, if anybody who does fly overseas buys mugs, I bet, as soon as they put them in their suitcase, they come back home, first they see it's broken pieces because the mug's been smashed because the plane throttled it around the whole, your case. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, so also speaking of the art of the gallery, which Mickey did bring up, which was another one of those 
what the hell is that doing there? Um, so Disney Fashion and Disney Gallery will merge into one large fashion shop. And here's a concept art for it. Now I can just picture George walking in saying, There's nothing in it, bit me! I can't, I can't rebuff that. I can't, because it's, it's true. <laughs> it's not my fault I need baggy sizes. I'm all about comfort. <laughs> I don't care if it's t it goes down to my ankles. At least it's fucking comfy! <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, honestly, I always don't, I always hate it. Because ever since I've been to this, my parents, every time I go to a shop, I just immediately just walk straight past the fashion section because I know... I'm not gonna fit in, in any of that. Not even a spirit jersey. No, because there was a night. Because over Christmas, I was getting the wish, your, our wish merch for Christmas last year on Disney Store. There was a lovely wish spirit jersey, but it only went onto a two XL. And because I don't understand part the sizes of spirit jerseys, I didn't bother getting it. Thought it's not gonna fit. It was lovely, but. Ah, yeah. But no, it's a travesty, because it's cause travesty for you. It really is. Yeah. There's always lovely, some nice fashion gear in, the, in those Disney shops, in those Disney Park shops. But I think, no, it ain't gonna fucking, fucking fit me. And I do not want to have to bother the effort going, then. No, no, no matter how many stretch I do, it ain't gonna fit. So it's like, I'm not, so I don't even bother the fashion stuff in Disneyland Park. It's like, I know that ain't gonna fucking fit. Right. So humiliating, because could you imagine if they did cater for fashion for people who need big sizes? I'd have a completely packed wardrobe. Yeah, we would never have to worry about union clothes ever again. Exactly, but oh no! Oh no! No, we only have to cater for people who are 2X. X. Uh, anyway, right. Um, okay. The uh, Lego store in Disney Village will also be refurbished as part of the remodel. Okay. I don't get why we have a Lego store because it isn't really that much Disney Lego. Yeah. And of course there is Legoland, which I which I remember which I've been to as a kid. Oh really? Yeah. It's one of the, it was one of those I don't remember much about it, so about it, so don't ask me if I did anything because I probably don't remember. I was too young at the time. I mean, it's one of those, you know, weekend coach trips that you do here in the UK where you go down south for a weekend, you do some whatever attraction that's there. And on one case it was Legoland. Um But it's but um Yeah. I, I didn't never got why there's a Lego store in Disney in Disneyland Paris, because you're right, there isn't really that much Disney Lego. I mean for me, the only Lego I had was Bionicle. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was one of those bad people that did bad Bionicle. We've not got time to explain Bionicle because we've been here all night. Nah. Uh, just Google it. Yeah, Google it. You'll get what I mean. I don't know if, it, I don't know if, it, I don't know if it's still going, Bionicle, but I remember it's a big, it was a big Lego range when I was a kid. And that's my, was my Lego. Was Bionicle. Um, a couple of Bob the Builders. Did Bob the Builder do a Lego? Bob the Builder did a, did a Lego race. I remember having a couple of Bob the Builders in Lego as well, but that's my only... But yeah, there isn't that much Disney Lego, is there? No. Right, so in terms of timeline, all these Disney Village new shop concepts will open by the end of this year. Right, so basically, if you want to go to Disneyland Paris after a full blown experience, you're probably best better waiting until next year. <laughs> because really that's not a single thing to do with a Disney bitch unless you have happen to hear that <laughs> Is that your impression of drilling? Yeah. No, I think that's pretty George was better. Really? Yeah. Ning 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 That's better. We are not Seriously? No, 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 we're not having a, we're not having a drill off. Don't! They're, de they're getting too murky, they're being too murky about it, they're dirty animals. We're not having a drill off, okay? We're not having that. 
He started it, he said yours was better. So, you know, we're not doing a drill off, okay, let's just... No, but I do understand your point. What's there going to be open at Disney Village this year, apart from a couple of the restaurants? McDonald's is going to be more, he's going to be more crying than normal. Yeah, because where else is it going to go? Oh, it's always manic in that Disney, in Disney Village with McDonald's. No matter what hard day you go, it's always so manic, that McDonald's. He always is. Yeah, dreadful. Uh, but, uh, but I can understand three such point, because if there's not much scope open to Disney Village, then you've lost that shop experience, because the shops in the parks are kind of okay, but really, they're not as on par as the ones in Disney Village are. We still would have one of Disney. One of Disney. Yeah, but that'd be about it. And it's not... And it's really is one of the Disney really where it cracks out to be. Well, I've not bought anything in that shop it's been around for twelve years. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh so Disney store will be replaced and changed into a franchise hub store. Oh no. Uh, to see where this is going. As part of the Disney Beers remodel uh, to open later. So there's no concrete date for that. And I'll bring the concert up. Um, for it. Oh dear. I don't like the idea of a franchise store. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you've already known that merchandise these days is basically stuff you just find at Disney at, at, at Shop Disney. Not Shop Disney, it's now Disney Store. It's now Disney Store. Yeah. Earlier this year. It changed back from Shop Disney to DisneyStore.co.uk. Just bring the physical stores back, you cowards! George Smith is going out on the high street. <laughs> they closed all the shops down! I <laughs> know, oh not been to not been to Center in five years. Because they closed all the shops down! No H&B! Or anything, just... All the shops that bees and I would go to got closed down. Uh, yeah. Um Which tell you it makes birds and Christmases bloody harder than they already are. And I'm not festive. Mm -hmm. But um now, could you imagine there'll just be like a section of Pixar, there'll be a section of Star Wars, there'll be a section of Marvel, there'll be a section of Disney Classics, and you'll go around and think, Oh I've seen that online, I've seen that online. I've seen that online. I bought that last week. Yeah. Well, what would we do for this car shop? Make it merchandise for lazy to the parks. Yeah, but what kind? Merch of what kind? You know, based on new attractions. Like how they did the Mickey and Minnie Railway Railway thing. Oh, I saw that on Disney Store. Didn't buy it. It was just like goofy and the boost. Yeah, that was about it. So do merchandise feed on into the put into the attractions and the shows, and that would be a gold mine. You can, would make a lot of profit if you did that. Yeah. Rather than have like a franchise park where you just probably will have the things like only in Disney Store. Yeah. And it's a shame because I love the Disney Store Disney Village. It was love. Bird. It's the shop I always have to definitely go into when I run Disneyland Paris because it's always so lovely and spacious. There's lots of there's lots of range there. You can spend a good couple of hours in there. Um, and it's a perfect fit place to go to if you forgot to do your shopping in the main park, in the parks, because obviously you've been too busy with the, obviously all the attractions and shows and all that. Yeah. So it's up. Yeah. Rough. Um. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to miss that. that. And I, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll see where it gets, um, when it uh, when it goes and it's refurbished, we'll it goes. But there's, there's no concrete date for that yet, so that might probably be next week. That might be next year. But don't that. Right, the sports bar is going to get redeveloped. Here's supposed to get that. Okay. Okay. There you go. Ooh. That looks more appealing than what it originally is, because the sports bar is only like a little quick. 
cafe, isn't it? Yeah. You can get to sandwiches and pizzas and fries. And that's about it. Yeah, because yeah, the inside's not that great. Not great because the inside doesn't isn't, isn't that much seating. Um, but outside you've got the big plasma which just broadcasts sports. I'm surprised they didn't want to broadcast junior vision on that. No, that wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah, in 21, 23, when you hosted, yeah, that would have been a good idea. Clearly not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can, I could just imagine. Oh, I'm not sure it's a good idea to have that done this year. Olympics? Oh, no. Have you seen the Olympic feeling? Yes! Gorgeous! Gorgeous! We'll come that another time, yeah? Another time, yeah. Another time. We'll come that another time. Oh! Yeah. So that actually looks like a nice concert art. If they can make that look pretty, then the afternoon is I'm like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. You've just brought up. That's a big set drawback if they're going to do that this year. Because obviously we've got you guys hosting the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, because I, cause I, I could imagine um, sports bar broadcast events um, on, the, on that, very good. Oh, that's going to be a missed opportunity, but hey-ho. There's always, there's always the Winter Games in six years' time. <laughs> Here we go again! <laughs> There's always that in six years' time, so, um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Right. Um. Yeah. Is there anything that we definitely isn't being rethemed? Annette. Oh, thank God for that. Hooray! Thank God for that. Oh, thank God. No, Annette. No, you don't worry about it! Panic over! Oh, hallelujah! Oh, thank God. I'll just write, I'll just, I'll just write it. I, I sit, seriously, seriously? I'll have got a pitchfork and blames and everything. I'll just write it. Okay. <laughs> we beer alerts, haven't we? We did it on the very first trip in 2005. We did! Yeah, we did. Yeah, the very first trip in 2005. Yeah, when we met for the first time. Yeah, we did a net. We haven't been back then since. Well, probably because a it's pricey and b we spent all day in the parks. Yeah, yeah. I think if we if we still did our trip well, like how we did it pre 2012, we probably would spend more time in the nets. But because we don't. It's not worth going into this village, going at food, and then go back in to get rid of the night time. Most of the same part. No. But next, it's going to stay exactly as it is. It's going to keep that iconic 50 theme in, so you don't worry about that. Woo! Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll let. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, can you have a moment? Three so thoughts, worry about that. Oh, okay, right. Happy? Yeah. Well, it's a give and take moment here. I've given you something nice, now I've got to give you something bad. Oh, don't do it, George! I've got to do it! So, Disney Electrical Sky Parade, which debuted at the start of this year. Now, we all thought that was supposed to end at the end of September, along with all the other Cynthia Colour stuff. Well, we have now got confirmed that Disney Sky Electrical Sky Parade has been extended until January the 6th, 2025. No! Don't back up our side button, let <laughs> No! Yeah, so we sort of didn't take too kindly to that when we watched the video. Yeah. I am so on the fence about that. No! I, I'm just like... I think I need to see it live. I, I think I need to see the Sky Parade live to actually get a proper judgment. There's some attractions where you have to actually see them in person to actually get a proper opinion and I think that's one of them. Yeah, I think I'm on the same page as you. Yeah. 
it. You're only piss. You're only ha having a hissy fit because it wasn't because it wasn't Fantalusion. And a better start to the main thing I'm afraid of. That's the reason why you have a hissy fit because it was because you thought it was gonna be Fantalusion. Then oh no, it wasn't. News about that actually broke when we were actually in Paris last year. Yeah, and I remember saying to you. The resource not going to like this. No. Because <clears throat> even Bill, Bill Dot has been saying, oh, it's going to be featured in Absolution. Mm -hmm. You put two and two together and you've got five. So, you're on your own there, man. You're on your own. Right. Um, right. Okay, back to the second part. So, a new nighttime show will premiere on the Roos Avengers campus later this year and will feature Scarlet Witch. And Doctor Strange. She's dead. Eh? Scarlet she's dead. She died in her recent... Did she? Yeah, it was in one of the Doctor Strange films. She's dead. She died in one of the... Do did you? Did you try to give me up? Talk to you that. No. Did any, any Marvel... Because I'm picky with Marvel. I pick and choose. I pick and mix with Marvel. Any Marvel I don't go see, he just absolutely don't me anything. Wow, this fuck, she's dead. Yep, she died. Did he die as well? Or is he supposed... Or has he got another phone call? I, I don't know. I know she's definitely dead, because I did... Definitely dead, because I read a, a, a screen my article talking about it. I think I saw that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, no, I didn't know that. So she's dead. Yeah, but remember, theme park universe, nobody dies. <laughs> In Free Park Land, you are immortal. Nobody dies. Why do you Tony Stark get to still live on? Even though he deserves, even though he should, he should have to be dead, dead. Uh, you'd have, I'd have to thunk him off. But yeah. Um. So does that mean no, no drone show then? Drone show's not coming back. Ooh. Because they're going to do a nighttime spectacular. Does that mean the drone show's not coming back? Oh, not for that. I'm going to Google this. Just no, no, not the not the night drone show. Just what about is because he definitely was one of the people that got snapped. Yeah. Um. But, um, I don't know. Mm. No, he's not dead yet. Oh. No, but Scarlet Witch is definitely dead because she turned evil. Oh! She turned, turned evil and then she died. Well, no, it's well, no, I'll turn, I'll turn evil, then I'll, re I'll do some evil things, then I'll realize they my ways and i sacrifice myself. But either way, she's dead. But he's still alive, so he's probably got a room, room for one more film and then they can bonk him off. Because he does die in the comics, doesn't he? Yeah. So he, she, but she's dead. Yeah. Yeah, but like we said, dead characters get to live on in theme park land, so... What's your point? What's your point? Yeah. Anyway, so we got that. So, ooh, yeah, so the drone show might not come back in Studios Park. Okay, let's move on to... Right, here we go. It's now time to discuss Alice and the Queen of Hearts, Back to Wonderland. Alice, Queen of Hearts. Who goes? You decide. <laughs> oh, we're not doing that. You can text the housemate you want to admit to eight double four double four. <laughs> we're not starting that. Okay. Okay. It's AJ and Will. You're live on ITB One. Please do not swear. Oh, the celebrity Bobby just had it in the, in the spring. The, the audience now joins in. <laughs> so 
that never happened with Dabina and Ever. They now all join in on that bit. Oh, oh God. But, um, yeah. Um, what's quite surprised though is they actually didn't tell us how they decide to get how um how you do vote for the winner. Yeah, because we because we know that the audience gets to choose who wins, which is why we've been doing the Big Brother thing. Yeah, so you can choose if it's Alice or the Queen of Hearts wins. They didn't tell us that. They don't. They don't tell you how how you choose who wins. Yeah, but it's probably gonna be on the app. Oh no, it'll probably be, be on the app. And they have Will Best ex massage the figures. He doesn't massage the figures. He just exaggerates them. Yeah, because Will Best always does come in and says, Oh, I've only had a, like 1.5 million votes. And it gets like a ooh in the audience. And I'm, always, and I'm at home thinking, No, 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 no. Hang on. No, Will, Will, no, no. Hang on a minute, Will. Back up. You get five free votes. Yeah. It's five free votes per app user. So just because you've had 1.5 million votes, that doesn't mean you've had 1.5 million people voting. It's just that's how many have been added up. We've added all the votes being used so far. So he doesn't. So he doesn't massage the, the voting figures. He just exaggerates. Anyway, no. Um. Yeah. But no, so this, of course, was supposed to be the main feature of this presentation. Yeah. So there we go. So. We now know when Ice and the Queen of Hearts Back to Bundle will open. It will premiere on... Do we do a drum roll? No. Nope. Okay. It's going to premiere May the 25th. Oh, so just... We're in the crowd of the spring, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because obviously, obviously, we've heard for quite a while it's supposed to be spring 2024. Where where's the thicker spring 2024? And it's still open. They just about fits into spring. It's the end of spring, really. Yeah. Last week of spring. Yeah. Hang on, isn't, isn't that the day? Isn't hang on, isn't that the day our Europe girls allowed? Oh, <gasps> it is. <gasps> yes, it is. Me and Sussy. All right, go. I'm Pluto, but Pluto's gonna be gonna be the the, the, strong, the strong, strong chaperone. <laughs> yeah, May twenty fourth. So I can only apologise if you're going to be near me in whatever in the section that we're in, and I'm and, in, and I'm just singing along, and I've got an uncontrollable sooty. I apologise now in the bards, because <laughs> I'm going to be that guy who just sings along the whole way through, <laughs> and so it's going to be like Shazza! <laughs> and poor Pluto's going to sit there and be thinking, I do not know who the fuck these two are. But yeah, so I wouldn't. I had Queen of Hearts pro the day after I've been to Mark Girls Aloud. There you go. We've now got a date. Woo! About time. Yeah, about time. Yeah. So, at the conference, they were, and this, this is from Dean for Report, they were told that the whole B of X thing will make sense. Um, but, um, with the music, and it will become very art artistic. In and the car waits how this turns out. But how, is it not going to work though? Because we don't know what if he is. Is it being feed to the original or is it being feed to the Tim Burton films? Yeah. Because you've got acrobats and everything. That would work well with the original, with the original but not to. Yeah. I kind of feel like they have got to just incorporate the soundtrack to, to, Tim, Burton, to Tim Burton films. You've got both. I've got both soundtracks to both of them, yeah. The Tim Burton soundtrack films, that soundtrack would work well to BMX. If you do it from the original, probably isn't going to work with work. Nah, no, probably won't work. But we'll see. We will see at the end at the end of May. We will see at the end of May how that goes. Here's a little construction of the stage. Ooh. Yep. God, that feels so weird. Knowing that was once Murder's action. Yeah, it just feels weird. Yeah, really, re feels really weird. Um, yeah. So here's some of the characters. Who's that over there? Yeah, on the far right. That's that's Berker, isn't it? <laughs> Ber that's Berker. 
to a super teacher! <laughs> yeah, I... At the start of the week, the LP report did post a close-up image of the right rabbit, and Amina thought, hang on, that's Berker, isn't it? <laughs> that's Deathly <definitely> Berker! <laughs> Oh my god! Well, we did think it. Well, we did think that some of this, that this, 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 this we RuPaul. So, Sasha. <laughs> so we're gonna be a RuPaul and a bit of yeah, bitch. All right, it's a one. <laughs> yeah, what a shame you're not gonna win in Malma. <laughs> Despite the fact you went all out to go to win in Malma. <laughs> and of course we passed the bat on for you, but yes she did, so you're not gonna let. Yeah, you're not gonna let. Um Yeah. So shall we see what else is there left or is that four of it? I don't right, so now we come on to the studio there's still a long way to go. Now we go on to Studio One, which is going to be rethemed as World Premiere. World Premiere what? Well, they really have a lot of ideas, haven't they, then? Why is it even being reimagined to? Your front, a front, your front garden. Yeah, but not everyone's lucky to have a front garden. Nah, that's just like that's pathetic. Mm -hmm. that's I mean, that looks lovely, but like we said at the start of the show, it's probably not going to look like that. Yeah. So just notice. Yeah. Uh, Restaurant on Cruise will live on, but in a different format. Oh. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about that. Yeah, I'm a bit. I'm a bit worried about that. Um. Yeah, ah, yeah, here, yeah, here you go. So, Restaurant Onkelis will be remodelled and renamed Hollywood Gardens Restaurant. Oh, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. Because Restaurant Onkelis was our must-eat restaurant in Studios Park. If we ever thought like we wanted to have a meal in Studios Park, it had to be Restaurant Onkelis, because that's pretty much the only restaurant that we know would, we would definitely eat something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um... Oh, not sure how I feel about that because I really did love Restaurant on Calise, so we'll see. We'll see. Right, so the front end of the second park, currently under renovation, is going to be called World Premier Plaza. Here's some concepts. So basically, what was front lot is now going to go to going to be World Premier Plaza. Gorgeous, but not going to be the finished product. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is wasted on on YouTube. It really is. This is. You don't believe this either. Well, I know, because I just think construction's going to... The actual construction will just look completely different than it actually is. Um. Okay, so the new Lakeside Table Service Restaurant will be called the Regal View. So it's gonna be a prince so it's gonna be a princess feed restaurant. Oh no. What why why is the tables gay? <laughs> so resort the, ta the table's gay. No it's not gay, it's just got some pretty flowers on it. That's a red card. What? That's a red card. That is a red card. <laughs> that is a red card. <laughs> and I'm now going to ask you then, what would you feed it as then? Tiana! Tiana, Princess of the Frog would have been a perfect food for it. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. We haven't, but we haven't got to be princess and the frog eating frog in there. 
Well, then maybe that's what the, what the Tangled Rise should have been. I just can't. I can't win. I can't win it. I just can't please some people, can I? Um. More cars at all to the World Premier Plaza? Not interested! Won't look anything like that! Right, the lake area will be called Adventure Bay. There's an awkward silence there. That is a load of shit. Seriously? Right, none of us want this lake. Let's just make that very, very clear. Oh, we have over the, over the past few years. We have. We've made that very clear. None of us want this lake. So the least you could do is come up with a creative name for the area. Adventure Bay! That's just going to that's 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 remind me of St Mary's Bay. Which then got called Riviera Bay. YouTube probably don't remember any of that at all. So I'm not sure if you, you, you did that in those days. Pluto definitely didn't. Um, yeah, Adventure Bay. That's what we're calling this area. Not really going to much adventure to it, to it. He just got a I've uh, got a table, got a um, is it table service? I forgot already. Oh, Mickey table. It's not good if you got a ta not good if you got a table service restaurant and a tangled teacup ride and a lake. And that's what it is. That's not what we call adventure bay. It's stupid, stupid. Why can't we just have Lake Studios and be done with it? Because the studio feed is dead. No. But I, but I did prefer, prefer our sessions of, of, of Lake Studios, but I think we did that as a jokey thing. We didn't, we weren't serious. Well, you lot, tr well, you boys and girls try and come with a name for the lake area. You haven't got a go at it. Yeah, it was quite hard. Um. Yeah, that's got me, even me feeling very underworld. Because this is going to be like a centrepiece of the whole expansion. And what we called it? Oh, it's just called Adventure Bay. Walt Disney Bay. Studios Bay. Parisian Bay. Nope, Adventure Bay. Right, we'll move on. We'll move on. Right, so regarding Frozen Land, we now know it's going to be called World of Frozen. The lame, the lame name, the lame name game continues. Yeah, but was there ever really a a a a, a, a working title? No, nah, no, not really. What would you like it to have been? Kingdom of Arendelle, but translate that into French. I, would, I, I think that would have been, been better. Kingdom of Arendelle, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But World of Frozen. <sighs> lame. That's lame. Isn't that, isn't that what Hong Kong's is called? Is it? I think it is. Bear with. It is. Well, that's so. Oh, that is just cheap. Yeah. That. What do they think our resort is? A, a, re, a, a recycled core hub. Give us our own. Give us our own original content. Or if you get have us keep have us copy things on resorts, let's give them a different name. Yeah, that that is just that's pathetic. Can't even can't even be bothered to to even try even give it a different name. That's shoddy. That's shod. That is shoddy. Yeah, I think your suggestion, George, would have been better. Yeah, 
Um, it's time for us to give you some bad news. We are definitely getting frozen ever after. No! 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 <laughs> you evil bastards! It'll be fine. We're not. We're not going to. We're not going to plasma charge. We have proper animatronics. It's gonna be like Hong Kong. The plasma's going to live on in America. We're gonna have nice animatronics. Um, I don't care if it's going to go on much truck. It's. But I don't want a carbon copy. I want something original. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we should have seen that coming, shouldn't we? Yeah, but oh, uh, <laughs> right. If we're gonna have Frozen Ever After, can it please be a combination of the of the Frozen films? Yeah. Can, can, it, can we? Because we, you could, you could technically do a bit of Frozen One and Frozen Two together. So it's gonna be like what is it, um Florida, then I ain't interested. What do, have you seen what Hong Kong's is like? Oh, I watched videos of the Hong Kong attractions last last year, not last open, and I forgot what what, what their first first ever after was. Ah, I forgot. Well anyway, then I could have just watched them back again. Um Yeah. Um Oh. I've gone back to being worried sick again now. Uh, it's more concept art of the world of Frozen. <gasps> oh, that is if, if, if that is that from Frozen Ever After, do you think? Because if it is, that's them in their Frozen Fever outfits. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Because there's so much of a frozen stuff you could, you could put into a version of Frozen Ever After. Because you got a last Frozen Adventure, which is in 2017. You got Frozen Fever, which is 2015. So, there's no. And of course, obviously, you've got Frozen 2. So, there's no excuse not to incorporate those in. in. But, oh, oh, oh. Right, I think we've reached the last bit. Yes, we have. The final piece of news, and we've saved the crucial bit till last. The second World Disney Studios Park is going to undergo a name change. We covered this uh, last week, when I saw that article on Disney Star last week. First, it was April Fools, but then. Sort of timestamps. No, it's a genuine article. Um, but yeah. So, we now know that the Walt Disney Studios Park is going to undergo a name change. Okay. Now, before I give the name, I need to, I need to point out one thing. The change is not going to come into effect straight away. Because we, on that video we did, which is now out, we did debate on when do you do if we are going to have a name change when do we enact it do we do it straight away or do we do it maybe say this time next year because you pointed out to resort about well i pointed out how you would need time to change it so obviously you know with the intros and all the shows like how could you have what is she as trying to present disney to your dream factory or what is she as trying to present mickey magician or for you what is she as present frozen because of rotation you need time to adjust the changes right well, I can confirm to you, the name change will come into effect when Worlds of Frozen. I'm not. No, I'm not calling it that. I'm not calling it that. No, I'm not doing that. No. The name change will come into effect when Kingdom of Arendelle opens in God knows when. It's been a very It's been a very, very frustrating day day for me today. I'm going to need to get a warm hug for my own laugh. It was over there. Um, because the, because on because there's a video on YouTube where I put into the description. There's a video on YouTube and they kept saying, "Well, we're going to change the name when Frozen opens. Gonna, when Frozen opens, like, but tell me when. Yeah. Just tell me when. I need dates. 
It's no good showing me his concept art is. It's no good saying where opens just give me the soddy dance. Your patience is running dry. Yep, your patience is running dry. I want to get into Frozen Land. Um, yeah, so the name change will come into effect when Kingdom of Arendelle will open in God knows when. Who knows? Uh, that's, so that's when the name change will come into effect. So you've got a little bit of time to get used to, to get acquainted with the name and adjust to it. And then when they can be bothered to open up the gates to Arendelle, then the name change will come into effect. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> now we're good. Now we will. Now we haven't got time to go in full detail on it, so we're going to do a separate video on it. Yeah. But we can do initial reactions to it. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. So, Walt Disney Studios Park is going to be renamed to Disney Adventure World. Oh, definitely fine. Are you taking a piss? Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. Not going to go in the hall, in the room. <laughs> well, they do always say, be careful what you wish for. I mean, we did wish for this. We did wish a name change. Yeah, but that's because they brought it on themselves. You're right down there, love. Oh, that's odd. Let him just, let him bomb it. Let him bomb it. <laughs> I mean, they did brought it for themselves by moving away from the studio team, which was actually very successful. Mm -hmm. it, look, it worked well for 15 years. Or we say 2018 was when it all fell apart. Yeah, right. So it worked well for 15 years. So, but that's the best they could come up with. Did they not thought shower this? Did, who actually signed off on that? I'd actually like to know what some of the other suggestions were. Oh, I can imagine Paris Adventure, Adventure Land, Adventure Campus, Adventure, Adventure Colony, Adventure Universe. Yeah, I think you've made your point. Just rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I mean, what is that? What is that? That is something a kingdom got a preschooler could do. What is that? Is that supposed to form a D? Because it's not really very convincing. I don't know. That is. Oh, that's rubbish. That is absolutely rubbish. Seriously, you had an opportunity to basically reboot the second part. Mm -hmm. uh, the part that you're giving, giving most of the detailed attention to right now, because that's where all the new stuff's going into. We're calling it that. Can we just, can we not just do, do like, like, can we not just treat it like Twitter? No. No. You're going to have to get used to this roll of the tongue. No. That is stupid. Can I ask, was that the room name? No. No. Yeah, because you remember, when we did, when we did our thoughts on the article of Disney Insider, I did, it did put a, a rumoured name which I chose not to reveal to, on the show or to you two because I didn't want to say that rumour name and then if this comes true, that's a leak and, I've, and, then, I'll, and, I'll, and then I'll get the flat because I just leaked something that was te that technically did get leaked but yeah, it's like, but yeah. Okay, so the name I saw on the Disney Insider article, I think this would have been better, the name, the rumour name that I saw on that article on Disney Insider was Disney Cinema Cheek Park. Oh, that would have been lovely. Yeah. Call it that! Call it that! That would have been lovely. Yeah. That would be a lovely suggestion. You know? You get to pay homage to a wild love attraction. And it, and it would make sense because the uh, 
makes sense because the idea behind seeing my drink was you get frosted into various different movies I suppose that's kind of the idea of a Disney park is that whatever it is in the world is you go in and you are supposed to be transported into these Disney worlds yeah. so that can we call it that instead no because a lot of people won't know what Cine Magic is oh Oh yeah. So, I mean, uh, I I I think that would have been a better name. That would have been a better name, Cinema Jeep Park, because like, so we to say it pays homage to what was a well beloved attraction, and of course it fits this new theme that we're entering of, you know, where we're no longer focused on the magic of the movies and we're being thrown into the movies. So I think. I think we used to see my Jeep Park would have been a better name. Yeah. I would have loved it. If it I think it would have been great if it had seen my Jeep Park. Because for us, we could go, ah, oh, it's paid homage to a well-loved attraction. Everyone else who was born tw post-2017 will go, what the, what the hell's that? And just come over here to us, our, our, our OAPs, and we'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Back in the glory days. <laughs> yeah, when it was no, when shows were open all year round. There was there was no there was no cheap pack. <laughs> or bre or Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey, do you want to go? No, because mine would get us cancelled. Oh, fair dues. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's not good. So, yeah, so the name change is not coming now. It will come when Kingdom of Arendelle opens its gates, whatever the hell that is. And that's it. That is it. That's all that needs to happen today. So, could I close out? You can. You may indeed. So, not much. It's only a little tiny little bit. Basically, it's just like a sort of slideshow of concept art images. Yeah. Because a lot, a lot of big stuff still not un answered. Like for George, when the hell can he go? Can he go into go into Frozen? When can he do that? For me, is Star Wars going ahead or not? Yeah. What are the What is there any truth to the rumors regarding Lion King and Avatar? Yeah. Wow. Could that be what they say for D23? Because as we all know, obviously this year it is D23. Yeah, which may as well think, well, why are we doing this today when all of this could have been done at D23? Right. And we finally get a decent panel that we deserve. Right. So maybe in D23 we will get the confirmation. Do you want to make, do you want to make a bold prediction now? Yeah, I will. Okay. Maybe at D23 we will get the opening date for Frozen. We will get confirmation about what's happened with Star Wars. We will get the truth about those rumours regarding Lion King and Avatar. Which haven't gone away since they began began not long before the last expo. They haven't gone away. It's kind of been put to the back of the, of the park mind. But for a lot of people online, it hasn't gone away. It hasn't died down. Nah. So, and of course, obviously what we had the last few weeks we got with Star Wars... It's only gone and grown. Yeah. So, this is a problem of living in this social media age where you've got people saying, well, we'll tell you when we're ready. No, you need to say now because otherwise you allow yourself to fall into the trap. Allow yourself to be targeted by misinformation. Yeah. And idle gossip. Yeah. It's so easy these days. Have we learned nothing? Absolutely. It, it, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um. Oh God, Sorry, so Now you're gonna expect those at D23. Ugh. But they can't. They can't. Because when did they expect Frozen to open? Twenty five, twenty six, or even? I just, I just, I've no clue. Any, I've no clue anymore. I've no clue. I mean, Hong Kong, my shit last year. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know of course if Hong Kong Hong was originally going to be last year or not. So 
Why couldn't we when we were originally supposed to be last year? Because French, cause, because French Labour is shoddy. You should know that by now, George. After 19 years. Mm. French Labour is shoddy. Yep. Take forever to get things made in France. It's... No. So... Yeah. So there's a lot more that, that because that still needs to be revealed, but probably won't come until maybe D23, maybe not. But what I think all eyes have got to be on D23, especially for Frozen. I think at the very least we might get, we would definitely get Frozen confirmed. Yep. Everything else, well, it'll be if we're lucky. Yep. Because a lot of the other stuff it, is really. Far away, yeah. Frozen actually should be quite around the corner, yeah. So you kind of need to say at this expo, yes or no, when's it going to open? Yeah. The other stuff you can actually maybe wait until the next one in twenty six because the that other stuff like Star Wars or Avatar Lightning probably wouldn't get done until the the twenty thirty, yeah. So, but Frozen, I agree with you. Definitely, you need to answer. Is it opening next year? Yes or no? If it is, good. If not, he's heard what we might expect to open. Yeah. Okay. Fair dues. Fair dues. But that is all the roundup. Can you believe it? We've been here for what? An hour and a half? No. Yeah. We've... It's been a very lengthy show. But there was a lot to get through. Yeah. Because it wasn't just here's all the news. It was like here's the news. We're going to respond to it. Yeah. So, in fact, we are cur we have just reached the hour and 16 minute mark. So, not quite 90 minutes, but close. Yeah, close, but... Woo! Yeah, woo! That's a lot to have got through there. Uh, but that's it. We are ending end of today's show. Thank you so much for joining us. If you loved it, do click the like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed, check me and click the button. I'll just ask you this moment. Comment the message that didn't allow me. We'll be back to the podcast video. You can be able to say, hello, my fish on you time, short time. Until next time, I say, mercy, I just want to attack. Au revoir. Au revoir.